Hey guys, it's another tutorial um, about Backtrack 5. It's on the, the setup of Backtrack 5 after you get it installed on your computer to make it a little bit more ergonomic. Alright, well, what I was just doing is using a, something called a pager and I was using the hotkeys. But you can go down here to the right hand side and click on which desktop you want and get these nice little effects as you switch to different desktops. Um, all you have to do is right click and go to pager settings and you can set everything up through uh, these two these two locations here, um, like the switching effects and everything, the hotkeys for it. Um, all we have to do to to set all this stuff up is is uh, I did the cube animation. Um, I set up the hotkeys for my Alt, Control, and uh, arrow keys. Um, this is just the latency between the desktop switch and all that. Uh, general, I name my desktops. Uh, how many how many number of rows? I have two different rows to make it a little bit cleaner look just uh, go through and set it up however you want to <clears throat> uh, the next is I'm gonna show you the widgets that I've got including the the trash can I've got over here um, these widgets are really useful as far as um, I can view what's going on with my networks um, physical memory and uh, the temperature CPU usage and such uh, I've also pulled out a few programs that I use often and put them on the desktop. All you gotta do is go into backtrack and then go wherever you want to to pull which one of these out that you like. Um, I suggest that you go through and look at each one of them anyways just to get familiar with uh, all the backtrack uh, applications that it has. Anyways, in order to get these widgets here, all I can do is right click on the desktop and I have mine locked so I have to unlock my widgets before I can actually add a widget. And then you go down to add widgets and then you can choose from this long little list right here and get whatever widgets you want, drag them to the desktop and manipulate them. Or you can go ahead and get other widgets that you might be interested in. They have a couple cool ones, you know. Um, moving on to Dolphin. I think that's already on Backtrack, but uh, your Dolphin file manager is like my computer of Backtrack or Linux. Um, originally, all you had was a desktop folder and uh, whatever you had on your desktop would be inside that folder. I added backups and I suggest you do the same thing and I'm sure you noticed a little icon up here that said uh, uh, install backtrack. I moved it to my backups folder just in case I want to use uh, UNet boot and utility in order to uh, to make another uh, bootable device with backtrack on it. And I've got a couple other things inside of here that I want to keep uh, safe. So. We're going to be using that for configuration files, dumping configuration files in here, the, the backups form. And then I have a couple other things I want to keep on hand. Um, I also have a WIC D manager, wireless interface card, daemon, and this is uh, how you do all your wireless connections. Um, it sh shows me currently connected to my network, and then here's the other networks in my area. And then my default web browser, just things that I use more often. Um, we're going to go ahead and move over into the terminal. A couple things I want to show you. Uh, I'm sure you noticed there's a little scary screen that came up as your kernel loaded. Um, there's actually a, a splash screen that'll make that a little bit more attractive. And all you have to do is is type in uh, fix dash splash and enter, and it will fix your splash screen. I've already fixed mine, so I don't want to revert it back. But that's all you have to type in to fix your splash screen to make it a little bit more attractive. Um, a couple other things I want to show you is uh, is how to update, upgrade, and do a distri distribution upgrade. The way we're going to do that is app-get update and it will install all the updates that are available right now for all your different packages obviously. Uh, I updated mine today and still had a couple things that wanted to update. And then I'll clear out the terminal. You can do app-get upgrade and it will do just that. It will upgrade anything that needs to be upgraded and it's going to ask yes. It says one upgraded and zero newly installed, zero removed, blah blah blah. Well this is for me so I'll put Y to go ahead and get my upgrade. It will upgrade the packages that, that it needs. Alright. Um, the next one I want to show you is app dash get dist uh, dash upgrade and that will get you the distribution upgrade. Um, it's a good thing to do these at least once a week. At least that's what I do in order to keep things up to date and running properly. Um, if one of your programs is working properly before you, you do one of these upgrades or updates, 
uh, then it stops working you might want to go through and see you know what's causing the issue it could be one of the the packages that you updated all right uh, a couple other things I like to get a program called get it and get it what it does is it, it brings up a, a text base of a file that you want to configure like when you configure files I'll, I'll go into a demonstration of it um, get it USR local share editor cap which is a program that I use quite often and editor.dns alright it's a nice little box that comes up and you can edit the file you can save it do whatever you need to to this file or any other files like it and you can save it and uh, go ahead and move back to your your console and in order to get get it or any other program in your repository for that matter is you have to type in apt dash get install and I'll just do get it even though I already have it and it's looking for any kind of upgraded versions it says get it is already the newest version but when you guys would install it uh, you would go ahead and install you'd have to press Y and then enter to install everything and it's, it's a really good tool to use I recommend getting it um, another tool is uh, VLC and it's very easy to get VLC same thing just type in VLC it's already on the repository list and uh, get VLC problem with VLC is is it will not work if you go into your uh, multimedia and click on VLC it's not going to work when you click on it it's because you have to edit one of the files that it has in order to get it to work and I'll show you how to do that in order to get uh, it working with Backtrack 5 type in hex edit it's already a, a utility that Backtrack offers and type in USR um, bin and then VLC we're going to type tab first off and you can see how it brings the cursor over on the right hand side of the screen uh, scroll all the way down till we get to alright you see right here where it says ET PPID and then it has the values 70 70 right here well to begin with that was 65 70 maybe I think it was right here to begin with but I've already changed mine up but regardless as you move down on the right hand side it will say E U I D what you have to do is come over and change and just uh, move your cursor right below the, the letter that you want to change type in P and P ID and then you'll see over here that it will change the values and once you type that in all you have to do is hit control X oh I'm sorry wrong command all you have to do is type control S to save and then uh, that would have saved you whatever that would have saved whatever uh, changes that you had made click Y in order to save it or in order to confirm the save and then click control C in order to exit out if you have any questions or anything about that just uh, leave a comment and I'll help you out as, as best I can um, so after you do that VLC will work properly just to show you multimedia VLC VLC player pops right up so it's ready to go um, one issue that I had with VLC is trying to get a playlist imported into it all, all you have to do to get a playlist is press play when you don't have anything playing currently go to add and go to whatever songs that you want I've already had mine up um, you just navigate through uh, whatever file that you have all your songs saved to just navigate through pick whatever songs you want click open well we'll have to add a couple of them I'll show you click open and you see all your songs right here click play and then you want to go to media save playlist to file and then just follow it out through there and it will save your playlist alright that's about it for the setup of backtrack you guys have any questions um, let me, let me go ahead and touch one more thing uh, if you want to change all the different settings as far as background and stuff like that go to settings and then system settings and you can do everything including the pager settings through system settings and the pager was this uh, nice little thing over here that allows me to change my desktops uh, that would be Windows behavior 
or window behavior and desktop effects that allows you to do those two things. Um, just play around inside of this folder and uh, you'll you get kind of cool effects that you can make your desktop easier to navigate, make it uh, real comfortable for you. All right, well, thank you for watching the tutorial. I hope I helped you out in any way I could. Um, stay tuned for other tutorials I'm coming out with as far as the usage of Backtrack and some of the utilities. All right, thanks, guys.